Hello everyone, before this video starts, I want to give a huge shout out to my friend, uh, Lightning Blitz, whose channel was purged recently. Uh, and you, if you like the content that I make, uh, which is reactionary stuff, you might like him. He actually does a lot of more gameplay stuff and a little bit more animation stuff. So here's an animation of his right here. And go check, and then if you like that, go check out his channel. He makes a lot of cool stuff. And again, his channel was purged, so I want to make sure that he gets back up to his cyber account. Maybe get a little bit more subscribers. So go check him out and enjoy his content and share and show him some love and send, tell him I sent you sent him so sent you to him. So yeah, uh, let the actual video actually begin. Thank you guys. Peace out. Hello everyone, my name is... I thought I'd try something new. Uh, my name is Spitfire, and welcome back to another reaction. Today we're um, playing with some um, sticky buddy. Uh, for, I don't know, I'm just off track here because I'm bored. But, we're, but welcome back to uh, DWK, so we, we, legit... I can't say that. Legit recaps. Uh, this is another four episodes. Uh, they are the second part of the finale. I think it's... Sparkles 7, uh, he's, uh, no, uh, Common Ground, and then the, the, she's all, yeah, or yeah, whatever it's called. They're all great episodes anyway, so, without me just being stupid, let's actually jump into these episodes and see how good they are. DWK makes some really good stuff, so I'm gonna think they're gonna be fucking great, so let's jump into it. You may knock us down. Here we go. We're gonna get back up again. Get the tremble wumba. Seriously? Cool. What is that? What the fuck is that? What is that? Zip it, what have you done? What the fuck is that? I agree with that right there. What the fuck? What the fuck is that? Okay, so we're back for part two and twice like this is it. This is my nightmare. Yes, I am your worst nightmare. I'll be locked in the same cycle fighting the same battles over and over again for the rest of my life. You're still scared of me though, right? I'll never fall in love or get Pretty married terrifying. or have Sounds children. Good. I'll just be stuck in an endless loop of judging flower contests and beating up the same handful of megalomaniacal retards every few months because I'm too polite to kill them. Should I just start <laughs> killing people? Is that no. what it's going to take for me to know peace? Is my only path to serenity paved atop the corpses no. of my enemies? You have to kill one person to show the rest of the villains that Are you, you can kill. Yeah, my bad. So that oh. works, I guess. What were you saying? You're making me feel really inadequate right now? I'm sorry, I I've got a lot on my mind. Uh, you're very scary, extremely menacing. Is it because I'm gay? No, really, I hate you just as much as any other villain. I totally do, I'm just... Having a stressful day, it's got nothing to do with you. Oh, so I'm not stressing you out? Uh, that's not what I meant. I'm terrified, I swear. Wow, I don't even believe you. Great. You know what? I'm gonna go mind rape your whole town, okay? And then we'll see how you feel, stuck up bitch. <laughs> Dude, Twilight, Sugar Cube, bro, what's wrong? You seem even more miserable than you usually do when the world's ending. Okay, look, I'm gonna be honest. Before Sombra showed up, I was kind of thinking about ghosting you guys. Well, I guess we wouldn't be the wow. first. Why? Because I've what lost control of my oh. fucking life, man. Do you know, I wake up every morning okay. and I walk into the bathroom to brush my teeth and I look Gigi. in the mirror and I go, holy shit, I've got fucking wings. You don't just get used to two extra limbs after a couple years and that's like a metaphor for my entire life. I was just an average chick and all of a sudden, bam, center of the universe. I've got life dysmorphia, man, and it's fucking my mind up. I am not cut out to be the ruler of the free world. Then who is? Twilight, when something goes Everyone. wrong, we don't go running to Celestia. We come to you. Uh, You're the one that goes there. to her, and what does she do? Nothing. You're the best at this. But I can't take the pressure. Look at how 
anxious I am all the time. That's why you're good at it. You you're worry anxious. about everything. Why? your only actual problem is that your faith investment skills are shit. That Celestia stock you're tied up in, that shit's been tanking since day one. You need to cash out on Celestia and put that faith into Twilight. That's where we put all of ours, and it's been high returns across the board. If something that fat ass is doing to you seems insane, then it probably is. Draw a line yes, in the sir, sand and insane. say no. She can't make you be princess. You could kick her ass. Yeah, man, especially with us on your side and that's where we'd be. I've never really thought about that. I could fuck her up, couldn't I? Dude, she's probably just giving you her throne before you get sick of her shit and decide to take it. So, the girls wow. just dig their way out of that thing, which seems like a massive oversight on Sombra's part, but whatever, and they get to Ponyville and AJ's like, oh fuck, I dropped Apple Boom on her head and now she's retarded. No, AJ, everyone's Stop. possessed. Stop. Oh, thank God. I mean, sort of. Actually, wait, no, that's... Fucking off. What a shit day. Could anything okay. even make this worse? Multi orifice tentacle rape. Darling, that's oddly specific. That's unlikely. That's my fetish. That's about to happen. What? God damn it, I forgot. If you destroy the tree of harmony, everyone gets tentacle rape. That's the rules. That's a shit rule. <laughs> yes, Who came up rules. with that? I did. What better way to prevent anyone from harming the tree than mutually assured tentacle rape? Come on, man. I've already been fucked enough times today. Don't worry, Twilight. You stop Sombra, I can contain the tentacles. Yeah, I guess you can, huh? Oh, hell. Ugh. Why are you Great. kink shaming me, Twilight? Shame is our currency in the economy of degeneracy, Fluttershy. If you want to be weird, you gotta pay for it by feeling bad. So the girls have to fight an right, army. I already feel bad, so I guess I'm paying for Twilight it. Twilight remembers she can teleport, and AJ's like, okay, so we're here. How do we beat Sombra? Is it just me, or have we been uncommonly shit at planning lately? Yeah, but usually when our plan is shit, yeah, we get shit. inordinately You've always been lucky. shit at planning. What's up, nerds? How it See? Goes. Hey, Discord, kill Sombra for us. I don't wanna... Do it, faggot. Fine. <laughs> oh. Well. Look at that. Now, I'm not saying I hope he's dead. That would be a horrible thing to say, so I'll just think it. And Discord's like, I'm sorry, Twilight. I can't help you anymore. I've been yeeted. Get up, you look fine. No, it's <laughs> You've been yeeted. Eating. Oh god, I think my oh, liver's failing. Oh, yo, yo, my what the eyes fuck are. is that? <laughs> Internal yeeting. toxicity. So, just fuck your you, liver, huh? Fuck you, fuck you, man. Weak. I have a terrible Tylenol addiction. You told me you quit. Well, that's bullshit. Now what the fuck are we gonna do? Every time you've been in a situation like this, the Tree of Harmony pulled some giant hitherto unmentioned reserve of power out its ass and saved the day for us, but it's gone. But guys, that's not true. The Tree of Harmony never pulled anything out of its ass because trees don't have asses. It all came <laughs> yeah, from it's a you metaphor. and your friendship. <laughs> you don't oh, need yes. the tree and you don't need the elements. The power was in your asses all along. All you need to do is reach deep inside them and pull it out. Dude, I finally fucking get it. Big friendship it's not a part. metaphor. It never was. Uh, what? I always thought friendship was magic because it made you a better person and gave meaning to your life, but that's some Bush League feel-good bullshit. In this universe, friendship is a tangible form of energy which, through the proper conduit, generates limitless power. What the hell are you talking about, you psycho? Basically, collectively, we're God now. Die slow, motherfucker. Yeah, so I go like this. Yes. Every time I walk by her, she gets so mad. Look, Luna, it's just like one of your harem animes. Why are you guys LARPing in our throne room? We are! Discord's dying! Uh, from what? Acute liver yeetosis. Twilight, that's not a fucking thing. <laughs> God <laughs> damn it, I forgot! That's not a fucking thing! Fine, I was faking. You dick! Why? I just did exactly what she claims to do. Staying out of the conflict as much as possible so you could rise to the challenge and learn something about yourself. The only difference is I was actually faking as opposed to being incompetent, and I actually could have stopped it at any time if it got too dangerous. Dangerous. He has a point. I guess Discord was pretty cool for once. See, you guys are just too hard on him. He's a really nice person. And Don't push it, fangirl. Yo, Twy, wasn't there something you wanted wow. to say to, uh... Oh, yeah. So about this whole promotion thing. Luna 
and I have decided it may have been a bit unfair to thrust this upon you without giving you the time you need to prepare. Oh, so now that I'm about to say it, you suddenly get it. You didn't decide that. It's a fucking fact. You just finally realized it. We actually had fun today. Usually when there's a conflict, we get incapacitated somehow within the first two minutes of the episode. Or ten if it's a movie. Yes, and we it forgot happens. how exciting it is to get in the thick of things and fight like you do. Uh. So that's the reason. You guys had a nice little giggle playing dress up, being defenders of Equestria for a day, and now you figure you can squeeze a few more jollies out of your job before you fuck off and dump it on me. Twilight, she just meant that we enjoyed taking an active role. You know what? Fuck it. I'm ready when you are. Go ahead and make me Princess Supreme or whatever. If my life has to be princess a sacrifice supreme. upon the altar of peace and order, then so be it. I'd rather be stressed out and die young than leave everything I hold dear to be obliterated by some monster while you two woogly-haired, smooth-brained chuckle fucks run around thrill-seeking and bickering over pancakes and flower arrangements. Dude, maybe don't say everything. Dude, Twilight, calm down. Your say ass everything. is too small and your Go, head is too big. Go. <laughs> there, what? I said it. Big head, small ass. Small head, big ass. You guys really do compliment each other. You can just shove your heads up each other's asses and everything fits perfectly. Really explains your whole fucking MO, doesn't it? I am done wow. with this shit. Good night, get fucked, sparkle out. Great. It won't be next time. Next week. Right now. Yes, I agree. Twilight, look! Oh, I get a it piece now. of paper! Dude, awesome! What's Good on it? Who oh, cares? Learn to enjoy the small things, Starlight. Like my penis. Anyway, when Shining Armor and I were kids, our parents gave us good boy points when we did something they deemed worthy of praise. At the Fuck end of you. each week, they would add up the points and give the winner this crown to signify who they loved more. It was just a game, but our malleable young minds internalized that constant fear of inadequacy. It's why Shining and I have achieved so much. We were incentivized from an early age to constantly strive towards greater and greater accomplishments. It's also why I have low self-esteem, horrible OCD, and I'm nice. terrified of depending on Great. other people. Well, that's not good. Everyone scars their children, Starlight. It's unavoidable. Everyone the trick does. is to hurt them in a way that motivates them. So, Twiggy calls an emergency best friend's 24-hour <laughs> yes. ops meeting, and she's like, all right, this is our prize, the crown of the goodest boy. The My operators. faggot brother ran off to college and took it with him before I could win it back. I haven't had tendies in over 10 years. But even if you didn't win, you could still use your good boy points, right? No, it was brutal. Only the goodest boy could have wow. tendies, and that dude, bro, piece of shit, robbed me of my last chance. You could just make some yourself. They're only good if mommy makes them. Well, what about some nuggies? <laughs> You listen to me, motherfucker. Nuggies are for the dishonored. Nuggies are for weak souls, <laughs> too craven to seize guy. destiny and claim the tendies they are owed. I am a princess. I will accept nothing but the juiciest, crispiest, all white meat tendies made from farm-raised chickens. Okay, so how do we get past all that new security they got in Canterlot? They've even got huge spinning blades to kill Pegasi in the event of an aerial assault. Fuck their security. We storm the castle, no man left alive. I'll seize the crown for myself and all throw right. my brother in the sparkle gulag. <laughs> Darling, Brosephine, family, I'm a ding-dong. Why don't we just take it down a notch here, okay? Sorry, I've what? been pissed off about this for like a decade, and it's only been a couple weeks what? since that old Sombra thing. I'm fucking amped, bro. I want to crack some skulls. Look, we're all well-rounded, multi-talented individuals, right? Absolutely not. Okay, besides Applejack, yes. my point is I think we can be a little bit more creative than murdering and pillaging. I can do other stuff. It just has to involve apples, at least tangentially. Like what? I can play music. <laughs> what genres? Apple core. All right, since twice feeling a little bloodthirsty at the place? moment, as your second in command, I will assume control of this mission. Oh, hold on. Here. Who the hell ever made you second in command? Genetics, my dear. The hierarchy goes alicorns, unicorns, pegasi, convicted felons, illegal immigrants, and then earth ponies. Eh, can't even argue. We farm the dirt. 
because that's what we are. Anyway, we need a multi-directional wow. plan of attack. Fluttershy, Spike, you get up there in the air balloon and enter through the castle's ventilation ducts. If me and Dash can get down into the passages underneath, we should be able to sneak in that way. AJ, you come around the courtyard about noon and play some music for the guards as a distraction. It'll be tough, but if we get up, get down, and come around, we can work together helping Twilight win the crown. You've been practicing that speech, haven't you? Hey, Pinky, we need you to fly the balloon. You up for it? Wow. Yo, Pinky, you, you paying attention, man? You've just been sitting there staring for like half an hour. She ate one of those weird gummy bears she gets from that rave chick in Manhattan. And so, Rarity, being the intelligent, beautiful, wow. clever, talented, strategically astute, no-nonsense best pony that she is, wastes no time in implementing her plan, and the ops are a go. AJ starts singing, and the scene immediately Let's changes go. because even the show staff didn't want to hear that song. Unfortunately, we encounter some trouble right off the bat when Captain Punk Poe is shot down in the line of duty. And twice like, Pinky, what the hell happened? <laughs> Pinky, words. I you need to use words. I love gummy. You should not be great. operating an aircraft right now. Oh, no. 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 Oh, yes. No. Yes. Fuck! Look, just distract <laughs> him. You don't need to suck his dick or anything. Okay. Just maybe. <laughs> no, bad wow. touch. So, no. Rarity humiliates wow. Dash both for strategic purposes and because it's a wonderful thing that should happen more often. Now, of course, Homeboy is thirsty as fuck, and Dash, he's like, the only way your penis is ever going near my mouth is grilled and covered in ketchup. Oh my god, I finally get it. You know, I've kind of had a thing for you ever since we were kids. Yeah, I fucking noticed. And all this time, yes, I know. assumed you just hated me and thought I was a huge loser. Oh, hold up, man. I wouldn't put it like that. I can't believe I didn't figure it out until now. Yeah, I don't hate you. You're just... Not my You're a huge lesbian. Wh what? God, I'm an idiot. It's so wow. fucking obvious, too. It is? I always called you a tomboy or whatever, but this makes so much more sense. Whoa, hold on. Back it up, back it up. Why do you think I'm gonna... Don't worry, man. I get you're not ready to, you know, come out with it yet, and your secret is safe with me. Dude, I, I'm i not... I'm just glad I don't have to hate myself anymore thinking I'm not good enough for you. It's one of the reasons I kind of gave up on life for a while. I figured, why the hell even try if the only girl I ever loved can't stand to be around me? Great. I, yeah, that's me. Huge lesbian. Celestia, oh, seriously, the, the, I'm gonna eat these things if they don't shut the thing. fuck up. So, Butternut and Dragon Bro are in this pit awaiting a slow death from starvation, and Spike's like, were. yeah, I always wanted to be like Shiny and Twilight's little brother, but I don't think they saw it that way. I was more like their bitch. Dude, Spike, that's how all little brothers get treated. Parents take their rage out on the oldest that, sibling, and then he the, turns the around youngest. and takes his out on the next oldest, and so on, until it reaches four. the youngest, so, who's just yeah, it, shit out of luck and has to bear the weight true, of all that true. anger, or bully some other kid at school. The fact that they abused you they means they people, accepted you as part of their family. First of all, they didn't abuse me. Kind of Second of all, no. That's horrible, and you should feel bad for saying it. There is something really wrong with you. Look, I'm just saying, you give off a certain vibe. There's nothing wrong with it. How could you not tell me I look like a giant rug muncher? How could you not know? What are you guys doing down here? We fucked up. Our plan kind of worked, but we're lost, and <laughs> Dash has got indeed. a lot on her mind right now. I'm gonna call this. So, they're all like, Twipe, we fucked it up. We never should have commandeered this thing in the first place. You have a perfect record. No matter how shit your ideas are, everything always works out fine anyway. It's almost as if the very universe we live in is constructed so that you can't fail. So, I guess the lesson of the day is... Wow, all right. I'm always right? Is there even an argument to the contrary? So, they do it twice way minus the murder in prison camps, everything works perfectly, and they get to the throne room undetected, but she still loses because Shining just hides behind the throne and declares himself the winner before she can actually take the crown? Fuck you, Shiny. But then Spike's like, ha, gotcha bitches! How in Equestria did you do it? Luna, help me. The little sibling uprising has come! 
Too long have yes. we waited in the <laughs> shadows. Always getting at at Bryce, you know, always rise. losing at Smash Bros. Always eating that last Let's shitty part of the cereal at the bottom of the box with all the crumbs. Unless it's Cinnamon Toast Crunch, because then that part has all the extra sugar, and that's awesome. But you yes. know that, don't you? Yes, and it. you take it. Just like you take everything else from us. Well, no longer. We are united, and you shall fear us. Man, I just realized, I don't need a stupid tinfoil crown. I have a real one. You may have won when we were kids, Shiny, but in the game of life, I'm objectively better than you. Yeah, I know. Wait, I was talking. I cared so much about this shit when I was a kid. I guess it took re-experiencing it as an adult to make me realize how trivial the whole thing is. This shit doesn't matter. Why don't we just... Put this whole rivalry behind us. You know, I think that's a good idea. Let's go get lunch. Wow. Is it my hair? Do I have gay hair? Is that what it is? Are you fucking kidding me? I finally win, and suddenly it doesn't matter. This is bullshit. Such is our lot in life, Spike. They will always find a way to slight us. I didn't even get tendies. <laughs> you know what, Spike? I'm pretty sure I just thought of a perfect use for all these geese. Oh no. Oh no. Let me just sit down and have my ass fall out oh, and that was fast. be vaguely racist and do a crossword puzzle. Can't I just do that? What are you talking about? Oh, that was actually his stand-up, which I've not seen his stuff. You look it up. I haven't for a while. So, apparently Pony He's Quidditch is really stuff, popular so now, and Pinky Butterball Snails Pony and Quidditch. Snail's Penis Attendant it. are going to Appaloosa Stop. to be inducted into the newly Stop established it. Hall of help. Fame. Dashie comes along too because she's still <clears throat> coping with some recent revelations and figured a vacation might do her some good, and who should we run into yeah. but Pat and fucking Oswald Pony? And Dashie's like, what the fuck are you doing here, you nerd? Ah, uh, you'll see. See what? Oh. Perfect timing. Rainbow Dash, I'd like you to meet Clear Sky, the most amazing pony I've ever met. Oh, I get it. Get what? Actually, I guess you're the one who's getting it, huh? All right, so you don't actually wow. give a shit about Pony Quidditch. Wow. You're just trying to get laid, right? Yeah, duh, and you gotta help me. That kid hates me. So what? You're not trying to fuck her too, are you? No, but if I don't make that little shit like me, Clear Sky's wow. gonna give me the boot. I, I want the push, not the boot. Why are you letting a little kid push you around? Just slap her and tell her to shut the fuck up. Problem solved. It's the current year. You can't just hit kids anymore. Well, we need to start doing it again. <laughs> no Did your kidding. parents hit you? No, of course not. Yeah, and look what happened. You grew up into a fat, whiny cunt who's getting outgamed by a 10-year-old. You're hurting my feelings. Good! If your parents had done it when you were a kid, this wouldn't be happening. The cruelest lie you can tell a child is that their feelings matter. Now be a decent person for once in your life and go beat the shit out of that kid. Dash, you listen to me. That right there is the first chick I have ever met who allowed me to put my penis in her. And there may never be another one. I am not wow. slapping her kid. Fine. Jesus, you fucking pussy whipped ass motherfucker. Hey, if the pussy's whipping me, at least that means it's touching me. I'll help on <laughs> one condition, which is you <laughs> have to admit the new daring new books no. are good. Never. You want to get laid or do you want to have self respect? <laughs> I'm going to get you for this. You won't see it coming, but someday. I'm gonna get your ass. Look, Windsprint, I got you a present. I hate it. Also, you're fat and gay. Jesus, stop being such a tryhard, <laughs> wow. man. Let's get that right into. Wow, what a catch, buddy. Not even my presents are in the ball sack. Uh, do you mean ballpark? Do I? I don't know. Uh, one thing's for sure, Wind is never gonna like a pony like me. Yes, she will, because I'm gonna turn you into a Chad. Dash, you oh, can't no. turn me into a Chad. Oh, no. I'm literally a oh, cuck, no. and I'm not even good at it. It's either this or you don't get laid. I'll do anything you say. That's the spirit. Now let's make that little girl like you so you can fuck her mom. So Blue Fast and Quibble commence Operation Chadification. And Dashie's like, all right, what kind of exercise do you normally do? Uh, I fap a lot. Also, I do plenty of cheeseburger curls, right. but the weight goes down every rep. Yeah, and your weight goes up, you fat piece of shit. I usually fap after. After I eat, so I wow. come some of it back out. Gross. Now, the first step on the long happens. journey to becoming <laughs> a Chad is accepting that you're have a, a pineapple. pussy. Done. You, and, uh, uh, you must be humiliated. A child has control of my sex life. How can you do worse than that? Yeah, that's true. 
God, you're a bitch. So, you clearly have some kind of palsy, you can't outrun a midget, and... Bro, you can't even lift! Yeah, I'm in terrible shape. Thanks for rubbing it in. No, I don't mean it in the dude bro sense. Like, you literally can't lift objects. There has to be a different way to make her like me. <laughs> With what? Your personality? I barely even like you. Anyway, Operation Chatification is a spectacular failure, but it's as a, we have all fail. seen over it's the course fail. of the past nine years, Rainbow Dash is known for her brilliant ideas. So we're at the stadium in front of a yes. crowd of ponies that can shapeshift into Dippin' Dots, and Pinky's like, oh, hey, this is that annoying faggot you told us about, huh, Dash? Oh, shit, Dippin that dots. guy, Rainbow said you heard suck. of Dippin' Dots for like yeah, five years, my guy. we went through a traumatic the experience together, dots. and now we're friends, see? Quibble's a nice guy. It's just some people can't see it until they almost die a little. Now, Dashi decides to have Homeboy oh, wow. and this little punk play a game of Pony Quidditch against her friends. And Quibble's like, dude, I'm going to look like an idiot. Why are you doing this? So Fluttershy can accidentally peg her in the face. Then you can comfort her. Get it? Okay, well, maybe this isn't the absolute worst idea ever. So, of course, Quibble fucks it up, and then he tries to use some arcane tome based autism sorcery to skulldugger the ref wow. into a do over, but the little twerp is like, oh my god, I hate you! Get out of my life, you book loving chode! Stop trying to make my daughter happy, you asshole! And so, our forlorn nerd boy is defeated, accepting that he'll never have sex again. But Dashie's all, dude, all this time you've been pretending to care about her interests in a really shallow way, and it's obvious as fuck. So I guess I should just wow. stop being dishonest and try to find an actual connection instead of pretending I like stuff that I don't, huh? No, you have to deceive her more yes. subtly. Yes, you you shouldn't be asking me about sports. You should ask her. She's a spoiled little shit. If you prostrate yourself and play to her ego, you'll have a way better chance. I don't know if my ego can survive right. this. Bro, nice. you can either sacrifice your last shred of self-respect, or you can hump a daring doodaki for the rest of your life. I actually don't have one of those, believe it or not. Yes, you do. Yes, I do. I don't like Quibble. He's <laughs> never gonna replace Dad. He's not trying to. Of course you're always gonna love your dad, but he's gone. You can't let the dead be a yoke around your emotions. Someone who truly loved you wouldn't want their memory to crush the possibility of new love out of your life. Don't think of Quibble as a replacement for your father. Okay. Ask yourself <laughs> We're getting if some, someone uh, dad would have trusted get these to deep take moments care from of you. I don't understand what any of that means. I just don't like that he touches your pee-pee. If it makes you feel any better, he's <laughs> really bad at it. Look, kid. I know you think I'm a fat, weak, <laughs> annoying nerd, and after all the Fuck experiences you. I've had today, <laughs> Great. so do I. I know we don't have much in common, but the one thing we do agree on is that I suck ass. Maybe if we start from there, we could become friends? Watch this. Hey! Dash, what? I'll bet you a hundred bits Pinky flips and triple bounces the ball into the goal right now. Damn, a hundred? Uh, Fuck it, you're on. I mean, what are the odds? What the fuck? Are you a wizard? Not anymore, thanks to your mom. But see, that's why books are <laughs> wow. cool. Because they give you knowledge. Great. And when you have knowledge, you can use it to take money from stupid people. That's awesome. Uh, dude, I'm kind of broke right now. Can I pay you back next time we hang out? 40% interest, motherfucker. Come on, man. I need to pay my mortgage. Not my problem, bitch. Also, the new Daring Do books suck ass. Man, I fucking hate you. Mom, I changed my mind. This guy's all right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm working Great. in a porn warehouse right now. I'm mailing, I'm mailing two-headed black dildos to P.O. boxes that I know belong to priests. All right? Let's help each other out here, dude. <laughs> what? Yes, best. Great. All right, guys, the blood moon is great. once again approaching, and you know what that means. What's this a blood great. moon? In ancient I'm pony legend, it meant the <clears> old <throat> gods were at war, spilling each other's blood across the sky. It was a time of chaos, celebration, and sacrifice. That's pretty metal. But now we know it's actually just Princess Luna's period. Oh.
Gross. It sure is, and that's why we still hold Sick. the traditional celebrations to honor the old gods and distract ourselves from the thought of it's Luna's hemorrhaging vagina. Exactly. I saw okay. it in person one time, and I sure as fuck never want to think about that again, so that's why this year our school will be the site of Ponyville's Cabaline Carnea, a night of dancing, Great. indulgence, and fornication. <laughs> Last one's not required, but it is extra credit. I could use some extra credit. I'm down. All right, guys, let's light the pyres. You know, I'm just a yak, so what the fuck do I know, right? But this sounds like some devil worship shit. Uh, maybe, uh, don't worry about it. It's just a dance. Uh, wanna go with me? Oh, I mean, I, I'd love to, but... Uh, hey, you heard Twilight. No pressure yeah, on the probably fornication. Is. Yeah, sure, just if anyone tries to make me drink any bodily fluids, I'm out. No, that only happens at the faculty after party. Hey, Rory, you're the best pony, right? I mean, I don't like to brag about it, but... You know. Teach me, Sentai. Teach you what? I'm going to the dance. How do I not humiliate myself? Darling, family dude, uh, just be yourself. It'll be fine. With a date. Oh, God, no, you can't be yourself. I know! All right, I can teach you, but you must know. Being fabulous and graceful is not great. an endeavor to be understood. It's a great, it's a great lesson. Look Look this episode how is a great lesson. fucking gorgeous I am. Do you have any idea how much yourself. agony I have to endure to maintain this? It's a great no carbs, for intermittent young, fasting, like, cardio every day, hot yoga twice a week, diet pills two hours of hair and makeup every morning. I've you seen are. you inhale a tub of ice cream like at least once a week. Shut up, anyway. The first thing you need to learn is how to exchange pleasant. Fuck them in the ass and tell them to get out of the fuck your life. It's great. It's a great episode. Great lesson and everything. It's a form of social masochism in which we all torment each other by talking about our families, our lives, politics, and other shit nobody actually cares about. Here, take these. What are they? Adderall. It'll suppress your appetite, speed up your metabolism, and make you more conversational. I don't do drugs. No, no, no. It's not drugs. It's medication. It's, it's drugs. Well, yeah, but wow. these ones are good for you because you won't go to jail. I think you're missing my point. Eat these. Why? Because being fabulous means being in <laughs> shape. Drugs. And staying thin means only eating foods that taste like a sweaty scrotum. Get used to it. It's I drugs. don't know about that, dude. Brussels sprouts give me mad gas. Don't let them. That's another part of being fabulous. You can never fart. Ever. That's not biologically possible. Sassy Saddles is 90% silicone by volume. That shouldn't be biologically possible, but it is because she has the will to be... <laughs> yes, you're you insane. Can't do that. Listen, you fucking darling, there is no half assing <laughs> fabulosity. Either what? get hard or go home. What's going on? Why are we in, like, a void? What, where are those dresses coming from? <laughs> Don't worry, just let it happen. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Alright, the next part of being fabulous is learning how to dance. So there are two dances at the Carnia. The Pony Cotillion, which was traditionally an invocation of the Avatar near Lathotep to broker peace between the warring gods. <laughs> Alright. And the Pony Prance. What's that one for? It's just for fun. Awesome, I love dancing. No, this is your chance to impress your date. Don't enjoy it! Be vigilant. Oh, it's uh, Cthulhu stuff. Great. I have it down here, I don't know if you see it. It's... Why? Which because is, uh, being uh, fabulous Cthulhu. means being I love, I love, uh, material. I'm like stuff. 15 uh, now. So I'm how? really thinking about it. That's when we marry them off complete? down here on the uh, farm. Why aren't you married then? I run too fast and I Cthulhu kick too hard. Stuff. I'm never gonna get married. I love, Don't um, be dumb. That kind of stuff. I love that kind of stuff, so, yeah. love that kind of stuff. I love, uh, HP Lovecraft <laughs> and Cosmic Horror. It's one of my favorite genres of oh, horror. Wait. That wasn't flour, that was a kilo of so, cocaine! Yeah. You must feel awesome right now. Alright. <laughs> Got off a tangent there. Look! She's dancing! I stayed up all night practicing. Who knew sleep was a disease you could cure with drugs? This is brilliant, Yona. What do you do if somebody starts talking? <laughs> Cooking, yeah, I wouldn't give me the time of day. But if my occupation was a star in a constellation, oh, we no. could get together in the Milky Way. Dude, I think I just became fabulous. Bruh, I felt it. You are so ready for this shit. <laughs> All right, you degenerates, let's get there this carnage started and boy. burn this bitch to the ground. Where the hell is Yona? I haven't seen her in like a week. 
So, what do you think? Uh, Fucking gay. Why were you acting out the like rain. a completely different person? Why would anyone like me for who I am? I'm loud, I speak in broken English, I'm all big and hairy. You couldn't find my cooch if you wanted to. Sometimes I can't. Masturbating isn't much fun when you gotta go on a safari to find your junk. Dude, I like all those things about you. You're unique. This is a fetish thing, isn't it? God. Damn it, now I get it. You're wow. into hairy chicks, aren't you? Do you have so little faith in your merits as a person that that's the only way you can buy someone being attracted to you? You're a good friend. Wow. You're the most emotionally <laughs> mature out of all of us, it's and you don't fear one. the ever-present tendrils of death which constantly seek to tear you from this mortal coil. I admire you. You didn't answer the question. Yeah, okay, fine. I gotta think for hairy chicks. So what? It doesn't discount everything else I just said. All relationships begin with physical attraction, but that's healthy as long as it's not the defining factor. Man, this shit freaks me out. We're still just kids. Being a teenager is fucking terrifying. I'm like a big baby with a rock hard dick yeah and i don't have enough practice at life to recognize stupid shit until after i do it isn't that why adults say we're supposed to listen to them well they're full of shit won't make that mistake again sounds about right to me hey <laughs> yona sorry my friend's brainwashed <laughs> you have a trophy i took drugs freaked out and broke everything that deserves like the opposite of a trophy. I mean, that's the whole point of the party. But you learned it's okay to be yourself. <laughs> no thanks to you! <laughs> yeah, wow. my bad on that one. That's it? Just... oops. Sorry. Dude, you just lived like wow. I do for a week. I'm a crazy person. You ask a crazy person, they'll tell you crazy shit. Alright, I'll give you that, but... What about you assholes? What's your excuse? I got excited. I just do whatever they tell me. Apples. So yes. what, I get a trophy for the best crazy person existing, now. basically? Yep. Then shouldn't everyone else? We give out a lot of trophies. If everyone gets a trophy, then the trophy isn't worth anything. Also, that's Apples. a huge waste of resources. You could take all that metal and build like a car or something. Ponies don't have cars. Because you happened. make too many trophies. Whoa. Dear Princess Celestia, Today I learned that feeling good about who you are is important, but... Cars are way better. <laughs> Self-esteem may Great. get you laid sometimes, Great. but having a cool oh, no. car makes it way easier. So let's stop making so many trophies because I really want a car. Probably like a lowrider with are better, some my guy. hydraulics cars are in better. it. Get some that cars. shit would be dope. Your faithful student and soon-to-be Princess Supreme, car. MC Twilight Renee <clears throat> Sparkle. Esquire. What is that? What the fuck is she talking what about? What the fuck is What's that? What's going on? Nothing. She's... Stoned. What? Everyone I know wants to be a star. Great. <laughs> wow. All right. See you guys at the outro. Yeah, these were all really fun. Uh, really fun episodes. Really fun. His takes are really fun. Uh. Yeah, whenever he goes into those existential moments, it really kind of freaks me out because I'm not used to him uh, doing that kind of stuff. So whenever he does it, it freaks me a bit out. But he's always kind of good at it too, so yeah. But these are all good episodes. He's really good at telling, telling stories and things, and uh, he's improving a lot. I'm almost already caught up with everything, so I can't wait to see his stuff again and... Uh, kind of be ca be caught up in uh, whenever he does release new stuff, whenever that will be. But uh, we'll see, cause I can't wait for his new stuff, and I don't think neither can his fan base. So yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed my crappy, cringy content, and I uh, hope to see you guys next episode. See you guys later. Peace out. Goodbye. Stay home and stay safe. Better get ready for the assault. Balls to the wall and it's all your fault. You just had to ransack the royal vault, so it's payback. All y'all are in default. First, everybody roll for decks. Next, reflect on your last respects. None of you passed the check. All of you feel the effect of the hex. Flex, that's the answer.
dancer. Or do you forget that I'm a necromancer? Shatter in the neck of the blade dancer. Making a wreck out of the dragon lancer. Last chance to pray to the god of your choosing. And if you're fortunate, maybe you can get some mercy.